Honestly, Mario, I would absolutely, positively take a nap here too. <laughs> This is like the most tranquil area that this game has to offer. Just look at it. It's kind of it's kind of weird too because there's no actual music in the background. It's just like ambience. I don't know. I dig it. I like it. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, Messianella here and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. And now it's time to wake up. He can't be lazy forever. <laughs> In the last episode, we left off in a new galaxy by the name of Deep Dark Galaxy, which I kind of obsessed over an alternate pathway a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit, but whatever. We found out that it was only for an extra life and some bits, but it was cute anyway, so I didn't complain. In this episode, we're going back into this galaxy to see what else we can find in the other missions. So let's see, we have Bubble Blast Off. Uh, okay, this is either like we're going to be in the bubble and we're going to be pushing it with our cursor or it's going to be that bubbles are enemies. Those are my two predictions in this area. Uh, I guess they're technically kind of sorta enemies. Oh, this is a stressful song. I'm not about this, but uh, we'll make it work. Uh, hello. That underground gunner is keeping us from exploring the area. A little water never hurt anyone. You guys are pansies. You guys pansies. Oh, look at this water. That's not harmful. All you gotta do is get good at dodging. Okay, but seriously though, uh, it's either a, uh, a coconut thing or a butt thing, and turns out it's a butt thing. So, uh, we do, we just got a. Whoops! Didn't mean a long jump. Uh, honestly, the crabs are the most dangerous thing here. How does that make you feel? You have essentially a high pressure water gun. And all you are is a nuisance. Only the crabs actually hurt me. Look at that, I can break out of it if I really want. Dude, you you gotta you gotta choose a new a new weapon of choice. Okay, but I do think I will take cover in this and wait it out. Two, three, four. Five. And there we go. Simple. And that uncovers the cannon that we used before. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another one of these. Oh, is it just to unlock the door again? Kind of figured that they'd keep it unlocked after the first stage. But whatever. I'm not going to complain about kicking some octopus butt. Hello. You're gonna be extinct like the Octarians you are, except you're not Octarians, but still. Uh, here we go. This is how the Octolings became, <laughs> became endangered. Here we go. Mario had something to say about them. Uh, don't blast off yet. Need power up to unlock door. And here we go. Is this just gonna be a thing? Are we- Oh, wait, I didn't need it to unlock the door. The door was already unlocked. Why do we need this? Oh, there's still some... Some fire torch things. Oop! Did I make it? I made it! And it gives us an ice flower! Uh, okay, here we go. Do I need to make it over there? Yeah! One, two, uh, three. Three, I said! Oop! Okay, well, you know what? I can get up there just by being me. I don't need no ice power up. And this. Frick! That was rude! Don't do that! Also, this is exactly the area that I was in. In the last episode, the one that I was super curious about, I was like, What is this? Why does this look special? 
This has to have a thing somewhere, and then and then I guess now it actually does have a thing. Okay, well now this is becoming relevant. Oh, hi. Uh Uh, I guess you're supposed to use the water, but uh, I'm not super into that. Here. I'll use this one though. Uh, jump across. Uh, Magic Koopa, maybe don't. You're a freaking nuisance! Go away! Thank you. Got a coin out of it, which is nice. Oh, looks like this one's gonna be, uh, mandatory. Hello! Carry me! Mistake says carry me, thank you very much. Oh, that's a far launch. Uh, oh, these fish are not friendly. Cheap, cheap need deep, deep water. Which, this planet does not have deep, deep water yet. Uh, if you want me to help you, then maybe don't test me. There you go, look, extra water. I gave you, I have become your savior. Maybe GTFO, or you can just be dehydrated forever, see if I care. Alright, uh, come up here. Nothing, no, oh, it's, it's, it's the Captain Toad Brigade, okay. Uh, hello. There's a power star hidden inside that watermelon. Use ground pounds to make those tennis balls hit the hit that watermelon to get that power star. What? What watermelon? Oh, that water. Oh, this is neat. I don't know how to feel about like giant tennis balls in space. But I mean We'll roll with it. Gimme. Frick. Okay, this is actually kind of confusing me because I see the red markings up there, but also down here. So, uh, I'm like jumping when I don't need to and not jumping when I do need to. But it doesn't matter, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> that was like some- Excuse me! That, hmm, no. That, that's like some super instant grove for this big watermelon. Yeah, we did it! Alright. Well, I am pleased. I'm quite pleased. Oh, I got all that, got all that, and I'm, we're almost all the way up to 2,000 bits again. So, uh, that didn't last long from that hungry Luma. Well, that was a very short level, so I think we can tackle the third star. Oh, here we go. Guppy in the underground lake. So, uh, Guppy is doing some galaxy hopping. I don't know how he got here, but, uh, but Guppy sure is not in the other galaxy. Maybe he has a spaceship of his own? Maybe everyone here is just hopping, is just hopping, uh, galaxies and Mario is terribly behind the times. He doesn't have a ship. He just has his arms, you know, swimming through space. Uh, that mean Guppy is down below, but I fear no fish! Guppy, huh? You don't scare- it's- he's not a fish! He's a mammal. He is a sea mammal pretty much killer whale. Whales are mammals, kids. Despite looking like fish. Uh, no, my meat, my roast is toast. That guppy guy is scary. I mean, not that bad. Come on now. Uh, gimme. Uh, really want- freaking- now I just wanted to die for the sake of making it die. Got it. Aha! One up. This is a not a bad place to be bunching up on your one up stores. All right, we're done here. I'm just gonna head in. 
I wasted enough time on that one up. You are here again. Maybe don't. Uh, please, you gotta run Guppy right out of here. Me and Guppy are buddies. What are you talking about? Guppy and I go way back, right, Guppy? You remember we raced and then I beat your face in in that race and then everything was hunky-dory after you claimed peace or whatever? Oh, what, you again? You gotta be kidding me. You want to run me out of this lake? You gotta get through all eight rings. Oh, this certainly sounds familiar. Okay, so uh, it's a... Not really a race, but it's a follow the leader type deal. Which, I mean, is easier said than done. Apparently! Stop! 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 Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, this actually gives you, uh, health. Give me this. Yes, this will make it a lot easier to manage. Gives us a little bit of, a little bit of air, too, which is nice. Okay, if I can recover after that absolutely abysmal start, then you know... Oh, wait. Uh, four... Three... Oh, that's terrifying. Honestly, those are much more terrifying than Guppy himself. Oh, that's a speed thing. Oh, two... Two, 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 two... Well, uh, so much for that. I, I, that was an awful start. I pretty much got super distracted and whatever. Don't you di- <sighs> Oh, does he kill me? He straight up murders you! He straight up murders you if you fit- Oh, Guppy, I thought we were friends. I thought we went way back, you know? I thought I thought we had a history, but you you have to go and and be a jerkwad. How about how about this? We're we're gonna settle this. We're gonna settle this, and I'm not gonna have a garbage start this time. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. Remember when I made fun of this and I was like, yeah, this is super simple. It'll be fine. Everything is hunky-dory. Uh, seven. There we go. This is going much better. All things considered. Six. Where is he? Ah, uh, yes. Leave behind your rings for me. I don't want to know where this is coming from. Where are your rings coming from, Guppy? Do you just have an infinite store of them in your gut? Oh, 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 okay, you're gonna, you're gonna just tuck it inside all of those whirlpools, trying to be tricky? Oh, Guppy, I got news for you. You, you're not tricky. Tricky is in Star Fox Adventures. You can't be tricky. He's a dinosaur. Well, this is what I think of you killing me. Now, what does he actually say? Alright, I'm a fish of my word. Take this. Uh, I have news for you. You're not a fish. You're gonna have some, like, identity crisis or something, but, uh, you are most certainly not a fish. Who wrote this text? Excuse me, but, uh, take, take a fish class. There's no orcas in there. There, there are no killer whales in any fish textbook because killer whales are not fish. Thank you. That's a weird thing to be nitpicky about, honestly. It's a real weird thing to be nitpicky about, but uh, I, I feel a little bit strange about them calling Guppy a fish constantly. I I will defend his mammal honor, even though, you know, apparently he doesn't care that much. Anyway, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I just almost plunged into my death into the great beyond, except not really, because Rosalina is very, very gracious and saves me whenever I do stupid things. For the most part, except for, you know, 
drowning in front of a killer whale. Oh, well, there is something special coming in the next episode, so we get to look forward to that. I will see you guys in the next episode. We'll see you, Nella. Out. <laughs>